Hey, this is Chuck Billy from Testament. I'm blowing it up. Blowing it up. I'm blowing it up. Blowing up. On Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. In capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. In capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. On Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos TV. Motherfucker. Go fuck your mother. This is the Empire with Capital Chaos TV. I am standing in the OV Orange Vale Boardwalk with Conceived in Chaos. They are getting ready to headline the show. I'm going to do a little Q&A with them. This is the Sacramento band, and we're going to find out who they are, how they came to be, and all that great, great personal stuff. So please tell me, what is your name, and what do you do with the band? I'm Arian. I'm the vocalist. Alex, I'm the guitarist. I'm Travis. I play bass. I'm Ethan. I play drums. Nice. Four gentlemen, four very young, young gentlemen. Are you guys legal? Uh, everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> the one I stand next to, the irony of life. All right, um, so let's talk about your band. Um, it is new. You guys are playing in Sacramento. You're a local band. What or who made the decision and came to decide, you know what, let's do this? Um, like, originally, me and Travis have been friends since middle school, and we've always known like we wanted to get a band going. And we've tried a couple times here and there, but this is really like the only band that's really gone to its fruition. Like, I mean, yeah, like I said, we've had a couple different tries, but I mean, for some reason the stars align this time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, uh, we were a band for about a month, and I booked the show, and we ended up having to write a lot of material for that show in about three, four, or five weeks, somewhere around there. And we ended up being the main support act for Motivator for our first show at the Boardwalk. Oh, and that was a pretty good kick in the ass to start yes, playing yes. music. It is. I, I love Motivator. They're good friends of mine. So at what point or how long have each of you been playing music? I'll just go around. How long have you been playing music or, or an, an, a musician? Pretty much my whole life. Like, it's been part of my life. Like, that's my passion. And my mom was, like, raised me on it. So, I mean... <laughs> what about you? Metal and shit. Always. Just always. <laughs> always. I've been playing guitar for about 12 years. Uh, I've been in a, a couple different bands. I got my start playing like blues and classic rock and jazz with my grandpa. Uh, but I've always had such this love and passion for metal. I, this is my first metal band, really, that I've, I've been in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've been doing it for 12 years. I've been playing music professionally for about 10 now, about 10 years. I've played bass with a bunch of bands, guitar with maybe one or two. But this is my first metal band that's really gotten anywhere. Wow, that's a long time. All right, what about you? Um, I've been playing for about 10 years. So I originally started as a guitar player and somehow ended up as a bass player in a couple bands and here we're at. It's so crazy how we end up where we don't think we're going to end up. It's, it's just weird sometimes. What about you? Uh, I've just been playing drums for about six years. I started off, like Travis said, everybody starts off with guitar. But, you know, um, I was in a couple different bands, but now I met Travis on Facebook and he, he said, come over, let's jam. And then... I guess I was in the band. There was never really a okay. <laughs> never a you didn't send him a letter saying yes or no. <laughs> That's so awesome. So some of you have been in bands, so you're familiar with the Sacramento scene. What's your favorite thing about playing in Sacramento or one of your favorite things about the local commu community in your in your mind? Um, just the closest of it. I mean, we've made some really good friends like uh, Petty Education. They're playing tonight. I mean, since we've been around, our first gig was with Petty. And yeah. they've just been really great friends of ours since then. And Travis's other band, Type 19, who's also playing tonight, um, obviously they're, they've been a great help to us, and we've been helping them out as musicians too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just a lot of love in the scene in Sacramento. Yes. So many promoters and everyone's just coming together to just make it what it is, just like the Colonial Fest last weekend. I bet I wasn't able to go, but that went off great. Pretty much all the shows that go around in Sacramento are great. It's just a great local scene. Yes, it is. It is. I find that it's like a family. So where are some of your guys' other favorite places or other bands that you like to support in Sacramento? Where do you like to go to rock out, and what are some of the bands that you like? Probably Casa de Chaos. And yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and like got to give it up to my cousin, fucking Yankee Brutal. Yes, yep. I love oh, them. Fuck, yeah. They're rad. They're, yeah. yeah, they're badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. This is like in terms of local bands, right? Yes. Um, I mean, I haven't really been in the local music scene like for too long. I mean, I've only played like small bars and parties, stuff like that before then. But um, I mean, like Chernobog and Motorgrader, stuff like that, all the local bands we've played with so far, I mean, I love all of them, and I'd go see them again if they came around. Yes. Nice, nice. What about you? Where do you like to jam, and what bands do you like to see? Uh, one of the fav my favorite bands from around Sacramento is the Avenue Saints. Yeah. Gotta love the stand-up bass. Mm -hmm. um, and this band, Thrust Band, I just recently seen uh, Sold Dome, I believe is how you say it. But 
Yeah. Oh so, my god. I, I, I always fuck up their name, and they're gonna be like Amber. It's Sel- it's Selenum. Selenum Thrash. Yes. Another good, another good local <laughs> band, actually. They're from Sac. Uh, Dance Gam and Dance. I'm a big fan of theirs. Really? These, yeah, these guys. Even with all the lineup changes and the singer yeah. changes and the Johnny Craig, really? It's all, it's all crazy. I mean, yeah, I like all their music. I mean, That's... through all the lineup changes, I've seen them three times already. Uh huh. Yeah, they're one of the best local bands I've seen out here. I mean, obviously yeah. you got to give up for like Tesla and stuff like that, but they're really good. Obvious. Yeah. I like Dan's guy. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen him too. I, I like Artery, so I support their stuff. All right, what about you? Where do you like to go to to rock out and see shows? And what are some of the bands you like? Just like Alex, I'm not that big into the local scene, but. Um, Big shout out to Psychosomatic. I got their CD a long time ago. Everybody really, hates me. I really digged it. So yeah. White minorities too. I They're love those guys. Yeah. 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 All right. So if you could have one celebrity, no matter who it was, dead or alive, come to your show and see you, who would you want to come? Dio. <laughs> oh, oh, off the bat. Oh, that's so hard. Because you know you're going to end up partying with them. Brad. Jeff Hayden. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah, Brad from uh, Sublime. Yeah, that, would be yeah that would be a good one. Or Jeff, yeah. All right, what about you? Who would you want to have come see you at a show? Cliff Burton. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love a huge Metallica fan, and Cliff Burton is just a god to me. Alcoholica. Alcoholica, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just, Metallica is easily one of my favorite bands, and to even be in the presence of Cliff Burton would just blow my mind. You guys are, I don't know, to have your like biggest hero or fan or somebody that you like super, super love out in the audience watching you, I think that would make me kind of just really, really nervous. Oh, but yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, bad. Who did you want? Oh, I already said it, but um, Brad from Sublime. Yours, yours is Brad. Okay. Or uh, Jeff Heyman from Slayer. Got it. All right. And then what about you? Obviously the metal god Dio. You guys- Hi, I'm Ronnie James Dio, and you're watching Capital Chaos. Chaos. Lovely. Be good. All right, so tell me what Conceived in Chaos is up to. What do you have on your agenda? What are your plans? What are we going to see you at in 2014? Mm, whoa, I guess we got new shirts. I mean, 50, 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, uh, we got a show coming up on, what is it? July, July, 11th. July 11th with Flotsam and Jetsam, Ex Mortis, and Hatchet. And where is that at? Right here. At Orangeville. Okay, and the, at the boardwalk. All right, and what else on your agenda? What do you guys want to do this year? Record. Yeah, record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're trying to come out with an album by um, the sixth month of next year. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so I'm a new fan. I've never been to your show. Paint a picture of what it's like to hear and rock out to Conceived in Chaos. What am I going to leave with? Chaos. Chaos, <laughs> kick in the face, I don't know, maybe a bloody nose, like his little brother. Yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a couple of injuries, or a couple friends of ours over there had some fucked up ribs. But. Nice, <laughs> nice. So there will be moshing. Hello, human scum! This is Odorous Sharungus commanding you to continue watching Capital Chaos. They support guar and anal rape and all kinds of wonderful things.